we know that 4 and 5 are whole numbers. What is 4 plus 5? It's 9. 9 is also a whole number. Even the numbers 22 and 33 are whole numbers. What is 22 plus 33? You're correct. It's 55. And 55 is also a whole number. Are you getting a gist of what I'm trying to say? Also, if I add two whole numbers, 350 and 620, the answer to that is again a whole number. Similarly, 28,000 plus 59,000 also result in a whole number. Whenever we add any two whole numbers, the resultant number that we get is also a whole number. And this is the first property of a whole number. However, instead of this, we say that whole numbers are closed under addition. This is just a mathematical way of saying it. This statement is actually the same as this. If I add any two whole numbers, the number that I get will also be a whole number. Now here is a question for you to answer. Are whole numbers closed under subtraction? Pause the video and give it a thought. First of all, let's understand what the question means. What do we mean by closed under subtraction? It means that if we take any two whole numbers and subtract them, then we will always get whole number. Will this always happen? Let's try to find this out by subtracting any two random whole numbers. 35 minus 20 is equal to 15. We subtracted two whole numbers and we got whole number again. Similarly, 1000 minus 999 will give us 1, a whole number again. What about 5 minus 8? What will we get when we subtract 8 from 5? Wait a moment. Can we even subtract 8 from 5? No, we can't do that. Even if we try to subtract them, here's what we get. A negative number. We are not talking about negative numbers now. You will learn that in the future lessons. But we know that this is certainly not a whole number. Hence, we will term this subtraction as invalid. Similarly, if you subtract 100 from 50, the answer that you will get is a negative number. Both numbers are not whole numbers. So we can say whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. What about multiplication? Are whole numbers closed under multiplication? Yes, they are closed under multiplication. When you multiply any two whole numbers, you will always get a whole number. Here are a few examples to support this argument. 5 times 5 is 25, a whole number. 1 times 1000 is 1000, a whole number again. Let's involve the whole number 0. 0 times 10 is what? When you multiply any number with 0, we get 0 again. So it's 0. We take any two whole numbers and multiply them the answer that we get will always be a whole number. Here's a quick recap of what we studied so far in this video. We learned that whole numbers are closed under addition, not closed under subtraction and closed under multiplication. These three are arithmetic operations that we commonly use. Is there another one? Which is the fourth most common operation that you know of? It's division. I'm sure that you must have already guessed the next question that I'm going to ask you. Are whole numbers closed under division? 4 and 2 are whole numbers and if we divide 4 by 2, we get a whole number again. But if we divide 6 by 5, the answer we will get will be in decimals which is not a whole number. Similarly, examples such as 3 divided by 12, 4 divided by 9 will not result in whole numbers. Hence, we say that whole numbers are not closed under division. What is 0 divided by 4? It's 0. And what is 4 divided by 0? Is it also 0? Or perhaps some other number? In order to understand this, we first need to be sure that we know the meaning of division. We have studied arithmetic operations. And the fact is that among all the arithmetic operations, students find division to be the most difficult one. What is division? When we divide a number 8 with say 4, what actually are we doing? Imagine this scenario. 
there are eight chocolates and four people. And we want to distribute these eight chocolates to four people such that everyone gets equal number of chocolates. How many chocolates will a single person get? Each person will get two chocolates. How did we get this two? Yes, we divided eight by four and that gave us two. Or in other words, we divided the number of chocolates available equally among all the people. Now let's say instead of four, there are two people now. How will we divide eight chocolates between two people? How many chocolates will each person get? You're absolutely correct. Each one will get four chocolates. Let's act a bit crazy now. Let us divide eight chocolates equally among zero people. That is, eight divided by zero. Does it even make sense to divide eight chocolates amongst no one? No, it doesn't. Hence, we say this is undefined. Or in other words, any whole number divided by zero is undefined. On the same lines, these are all undefined quantities. We will see another property of whole numbers in the next video.